I've been releasing music for over six years, and within that amount of time, I've been able to grow my audience to the tens of thousands. There's a lot of habits that I had to learn to get to this point, some of which you'll be hearing in this video. What's up, geniuses? My name is Adrian Vera, and welcome back to the channel where you learn to show your genius. Today, I'm gonna share three habits that will explode your music career. If you're ever curious to hear what my music sounds like, my streaming links are always in the description of every video. Let's get started. The first habit I'm about to cover is the most important one of all because the other ones circle back to this one in some way. What is that habit exactly? It's consistency within your music career. When I first started releasing music back when I was 15 years old, I always knew that I wanted my music to become my career one day. Now I'm lucky enough to be in a position where my music is all I do. Every single day I'm continuing to grow my music business, whether it be producing actual songs, recording music videos, making cover art, or creating content for YouTube. However, this consistency wasn't something that I always had. I used to go weeks without working towards anything. I wasn't creating songs or making content. Oh, I was just goofing around. How did I expect my music to become a career when I didn't even treat it like one? So eventually in 20. 20, I decided to make a change. I started getting into the habit of doing one thing a day related to music, whether that meant making a song or creating content for YouTube. The results were astonishing with my channel growing over 10,000 subscribers and gaining over 50,000 streams in a year. That was two years ago. Since then, I've stuck to my habit of consistently doing something for my music career every day. And now my music has been streamed 3 million times on Spotify. And I'm finally making a respectable amount of income. I've made so much money! If every day you're working towards your career goals, you're 1% closer to achieving them. 1% doesn't seem like much, and when you're just starting out, it's really not. The first few years are going to be slow. You're not gonna see crazy results, and you're not going to be making crazy money. But as you stay consistent, what starts to happen is that 1% builds up over time. It compounds every day until you eventually start to see rapid growth. The things that you did every day one year ago, two years ago, three years ago, have laid the foundation for your growth today, and for years to come. The songs and videos giving me the most exposure and making me the most money today are the ones that I released over two years ago. One important task a day is all that you need to be consistent. Don't overthink it. Just do one task. Write a verse, boom, task done. Start a beat, boom, task done. Stay consistent every day and eventually you'll start to see growth. Staying within the topic of consistency, the next habit that you need to get on top of is creating more content. All content is, is a form of media made to capture an audience. This could be anything from music to TikTok and Instagram reels to YouTube videos to podcast episodes or even blogs. Any form of media that can be shared on social media is content. A problem that many artists face is that they don't put enough content out and that can seriously stunt your potential reach. Let's say every piece of content you put out is like a dart and your audience is a dartboard. Not every dart you throw is going to hit the bullseye, but every dart that hits the board does make a difference. The more darts you throw, the better you get at aiming and the closer you are to getting a bullseye. The more content you put out, the better you'll understand what works for you and the more likely it is that something will finally take off. By the way, I don't play darts, but I hope the analogy makes sense. For me, my content strategy looks something like this. Every month on the 25th, I have a new single that drops along with a music video that premieres on my second channel. Since I'm constantly releasing new content, my core audience knows to come back every month for a new song. This engagement from my core audience feeds the spot and YouTube algorithm to search my content, in this case, my music, in front of new people. Some of those new people subscribe or follow me and the next time I release a new song or music video, they're added onto that group of people in my core audience, which exponentially grows over time. Do you have to release a song every month like I do? Although I highly recommend you do, music isn't the most important thing. Content is. Music is a type of content, but so is something like TikTok and Instagram. If releasing a song and music video every month isn't manageable, but posting to TikTok and Instagram reels every day is, by all means, do that instead. What's important is that you continuously funnel new audiences into your ecosystem, and the best way to do that is with consistent content. Great, now you have a growing audience, the third and final habit you need to adopt is communicating with your fans. Too many times do I see artists posting pictures on Instagram with a caption saying Friday as if their fans are gonna know what that means. In order for your audience to stay up to date with what's going on in your world, you need to make it easy for them. That means anytime you have a new song, show, or merch coming out, announce it properly with a descriptive caption and the proper time and date. Don't be afraid to announce it multiple times either. That way, your fans know exactly what's happening. Every time a fan comments on your post or sends you a DM, make sure to reply to them back as soon soon as possible. Even a simple emoji reply is better than leaving a fan on red, but please try to get a few words in. Communicating with your audience shows them that you genuinely care about what they have to say, strengthening the bond between you and them. When fans feel like they're being taken care of, they want to spread the word to their friends because that's just human nature. I can bet if Drake replied to one of your comments, you're more than likely going to tell someone about it. Believe it or not, your reply means that much to a fan, and even if it doesn't, the interaction is still creating a good rapport that could eventually turn into a diehard fan. These three habits of consistency content and communication are the ones that I'm always practicing in my music career and so far 
it's done me wonders. I highly recommend if you haven't already to start implementing these habits into your daily life. Another thing you can implement in your life is Beats by Adriel Rivera. On my beat store, adrielrivera.com, I always make sure to give you the highest quality beats possible so you can make the best songs with ease. With more benefits than any other, like having no limit to the amount of streams you can get on a song, my beats will definitely help you beat the competition. Feel free to check out adrielrivera.com for any of your instrumental needs and check out this video to learn more about my monthly release strategy. Thank you so much for watching. Show your genius.